This is the wonderful world of Minecraft. In this series, I want to bring you along as I strive not just to play the game, but experience all that it has to offer. Ah, <sighs> don't you just love that new world smell? So here we are in 1.21 and I decided not to play on hardcore this time just to shake things up a bit. My main goals for this first video are to, of course, find a good base location and build a starter house. I'm sure there'll be plenty of adventures along the way though. Okay, so which way should I go? There's so many horses around that would make this so much easier, but I don't have a saddle. <laughs> I could go fishing, I guess, but I don't think so. Let's just follow this river, see where it takes us. Oh man, look at this place. This is so cool. Ooh, there's an egg. I don't have inventory space for it. <laughs> what I really need is... Well, I should have gotten a tree when I was back there. Uh, I need to make some tools, and I need to find some sheep. Sheep would be really good. I shouldn't be sprinting. I'm not going to sprint because I don't have any food yet. Maybe I can make a boat. Maybe that's what I'll do. Nice, I got a boat. While I'm here, may as well. Okay. Let's get sailing. Alright. Nothing really to see. Some really cool underwater caves, though. Oh, I thought this was ending, but it actually just goes around this turn right here. That's pretty cool. Oh, man. Hold on. I gotta check this out. Oh, look at that. There's a village. That's sweet. That's exactly what I'm looking for. Just something to get started. I don't think we're going to settle in this area, but that'll be really nice for getting started. Look at this cave. Man, this Minecraft world generation is just crazy. That would be a really cool place to build, but not really what I'm looking for. All right, let's go check out this village. Man, I hope they have a saddle. <laughs> Please have a saddle. It's a cute little village. It's tiny. It's only got a few houses. Unless there's some hidden up on the hill or something like that. Hey, kitty. Nothing. No chests? Seriously? What, did you guys just build this or something like that? You've done nothing. You've done, hey, get them to work. Oh, there's, a, there's actually a lot more houses. Oh, man. It's nighttime. Got to kick one of these guys out of their beds. Uh, sorry, sir. I, oh, look at him. He's snoring. He's so restful. Wake up. Ah, another beautiful day in the neighborhood. Everyone's waking up. This is great. Okay, so we've got to figure out if there's any loot in this village whatsoever. I haven't found one chest. Not a single chest in this village. And is this it? This might be it. Here, I'm going to look around a little bit more. Uh, maybe poke fun at these guys' noses a little bit. I don't know. I'll catch up with you if we actually do get anything. Okay, so I went through this entire village, and there's not a single chest in here anywhere. Uh, so, I mean, I plundered as much as I could. You can see I took all of their hay bales, turned a bunch into bread, so we're good on food for now. Uh, made some stone tools, and also got some torches and some extra coal. I don't know if you can see it, but right over there, there's a little bit of like a cliffside mine or something that they were starting. I'm not really sure. But the, the miner... He's stuck on top of that house. I think he's inspecting the top of the mine. But anyway, I was able to get stone tools and torches, and that was really good. So um, you might be asking, I, we know we've seen a, a golem around. Why don't I just do the whole golem trick to at least get an iron pickaxe? Well, they're just starting out here, and I already stole all their food. So um, I don't know. I just can't bring myself to also steal their only protection in this village. Now, the big question is... Which way do we go from here? So here's the village. There's that crazy hole that we saw back there. Is the direction that we came from. So I assume... I, I honestly have no idea what's in the seed. I did zero research. Because I, I just kind of wanted to play. If that makes sense. So I think we're just going to keep going whatever direction that is. Right in front of us. <laughs> oh, before I forget. It's a necessity, guys. I can't not do it. Red bed. So it's funny, I've been playing this game called Vintage Story lately, and it, it's a really good game, actually. I like it a lot, but it's not the best for for content, I don't think. But anyway, that <laughs> as I'm going through this forest, that is absolutely something that you don't do in Vintage Story, especially right off the bat, because there's actually 
wolves and bears that would just love to eat your face. Uh, but it's nice to be able to go through woods again, especially in the early game. Wow. I can see the whole world from up here. Wait, some dark oak. I want to get some of that. Oh, hey, iron. Nice. All right, 16. That's not bad, especially for right here on the surface. I didn't even have to do anything. Ooh, another little cave. Nice. Ooh, geez. Nope. 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 I don't have a shield. I need to make a shield stat. Eee! Ugh. Woo. That was close. <laughs> Where did he come from? Oh, nice. Some more iron. Oh, my goodness, guys. No way. No way. Oh, it's a spider spawner. Okay. I don't I don't I don't have any need for a spider spawner right now. But I'll loot it. I'll loot it. Oh. Okay. I need I really need to make some armor. <laughs> that needs to happen. Stat. Uh smite. I mean I'll take it. It's a free book. Um a golden apple, that's nice. Ooh, more iron. Actually, that's perfect. And I can make a shield right. Oh, and a saddle. That's exactly what I need. Cat. Meh. I'll take it until I need to replace it with something else that I find along the way. Oh, nice. It's another cave. But you know what? <laughs> I can't do it. I've got a plenty of... I'm up to 32 iron now. I really need to deck myself out and get some of this dark oak. I imagine we probably have a really long journey <laughs> ahead of us while we try to find the best spot. There, I feel so much better now. Okay, so I got myself fully decked out. I've made a couple of tools, which I'll use after these are broken. Got plenty of dark oak saplings, which is awesome, and some wood, so that's good. And then, oh, it's about to be nighttime. Wait a second. Are you serious? Dark oak to jungle right here. Now all I need is like a spruce biome right after that, and I think we'd be set for basically all the starter materials that I'm gonna need. Or at least until I get to where I'm going. That is nuts. So this is kind of funny. I was just talking to Red Snakes 10 about tree houses and tree house bases like a few days ago. And he was like, you should really do it. You should really make a tree house base. And I said, I don't know. Maybe if I find a jungle, uh, I'll think about doing something like that. But I mean, not right here. I don't really like this area because it's too sparse. There's not enough of the jungle trees, but maybe over there or something like that. I don't know. I don't know. I might have to think about it. I don't know. I'll look around. I promise I'll look around to see if I can find a good spot before I make a... Oh my goodness! Look at this guy! He's laying on... That cannot be comfortable laying on the edge of the block like that. Dude! Dude, get... You need to adjust! <laughs> By the way, I have no idea why you're here. There's a whole bamboo forest on that side. Ooh, look at that green mist. That's really cool. I really like that. I got, I'm using this new mod that I've never used before, just called Fog. Uh, just because I wanted to see what it looks like, and I really like what it looks like. But... <laughs> the panda's funny. So I'll just... I'm just gonna... But ooh... Do you see what I see? Do you see what I see? This my friends, is an azalea tree, which means right down cha is a lush cave. All right, so it's the next day, both in Minecraft and in real life, and I have decided, I've thought about it a lot, and oh man, that guy's so cool. I've thought about it a lot, and I think I want to do a mega tree house in this jungle. I've never done anything like that before, <laughs> but I've always had it in the back of my mind, and of course, again, my my little one has been insisting for a long time. So let me, uh, I'm just going to go around, see if I can find a good location for this in this jungle, and then we'll get to work. All right, guys, I think I have found the coolest location. Let me show you. Well, first off, we have access to the river, which I think this river is going to be a key component of just getting around in the jungle because it's so hard to get through a jungle. So this is almost like the jungle's highway. But then we come up here and we've already got a ton of really tall trees really close together. I like that a lot. And heck, maybe we can even like do a bridge going across the river at some point between those two. I don't know. But here's like one, two, three, four right here really close to each other. That's perfect. That's exactly what I'm looking for. 
And this is my favorite part. Oh my goodness. Not the bamboo. The bamboo's awesome. I love bamboo forests. But that's not it. That's not it. If we go deep into the jungle back here, not that far away, not that far away if I can get through the bamboo. <laughs> Look at this. Look at this. Wow. Try not to look at that guy. We've got a lush cave right here, and it's a giant one exposed to the surface. Like, you can't ask for anything more than that, right? Plus, we've got a bunch of really tall trees here. I'm thinking maybe if we want to connect the ones next to the river with the ones over here, we might have to plant a few bridge trees in between. I kind of wanted to go with, you know, the existing landscape, but... To get from there to all the way over there, that's a really long bridge, and I'd rather have something in between. Hmm. Looks like some other folks had the same idea. So I have a feeling this rain is going to be a normal thing in the jungle, but I guess we'll just have to deal with it. But I was thinking long and hard about the different, uh, you know, our build palette. Our build palette for our giant treehouse here, and I think I settled on um, dark oak for kind of the outline. Uh, jungle, just because it's very readily available for the majority of the build. And then finally, uh, one that I don't have yet, and that's Acacia. So I guess before we do any building over here, we gotta go on an adventure. Now we're in a warm climate here, so theoretically, I have a pretty good chance if I just kind of pick a direction and go that way. So I'm just gonna go this way and hope for the best. Don't see me, don't see me, don't see me, don't- well, I guess it doesn't matter. They can't swim as fast as I am in a boat. Look at these guys! They were just hanging out! You wanna get in the boat? I don't know if you can. Squawkers? <laughs> anyway, let's keep going. Man, I really, really love this area. It's so cool! Oh, look at this. Ooh, look at that. Big ol' hole in the water. Jeez! I'd be afraid to swim down there. Something will reach up and get me. Man, these parrots are everywhere. I've got to get a pet parrot. That's not the sound that parrots... Anyway. <laughs> I've got to get a pet parrot at some point. Okay, so it looks like this is as far as the road takes us this direction. So I'm going to hop out. And... Keep going. See what I find. I see a village. Alright. What if this one actually has some chests in it? Unlike the last one. Here, I'll use my boat. It's easier. Still having the weird door issue. Not really sure what that is. Oh, a blacksmith! Nice! Okay, what do we got? Anything good? Eh, I mean, it's fine. I've already got iron gear, but I'll take it. And another saddle. Nice! I hit the potato jackpot. Which is good, because I don't really see, like, a farm where I can get carrots and stuff like that out here. Kind of lame, actually. Oh, look! A savanna! There's our acacia, exactly what I was looking for. I can get that, and I can get some... You never know. You just never know when you're going to need some cactus for green dye. So I may as well get a couple of those. Pick up a stack of sand, some saplings, and then we'll get back home. Someday I'll rescue you, buddy. Just not today. There, that's much better than having a little placeholder there. But if you look right across the, the river over there, I set up a little makeshift kind of tree farming area. You see a lot of the acacia saplings still on the ground. They still have to grow. I've got... cuts. A couple of them that came in already, plus a couple of dark oak. So we should be looking pretty good. So now I've got to figure out where I want to put this thing. My first house, my starter house. And I'm thinking, it looks like that one's the tallest here. Let's get into our free cam just so we can look up. Yeah, so out of these ones close by, this one's definitely the tallest. And it looks like, I mean, it looks like right about here would actually be perfect. Uh, maybe I'll make it double story, so maybe like right here? Yeah, so uh, luckily with these trees, and I've got to adjust my settings, it's too jerky again. Uh, but luckily with these trees, you've got a makeshift ladder built in. So it won't be too hard to get up there. Okay, so let's see if we can do this without dying. That'd be fantastic. <laughs> I have a good idea of where I want to be uh, about even... Oh, goodness. I think about here, actually. This is probably good. So what if I put you there? Yeah, that'll work. That'll work. There. So now I have a little platform to work on. I can clear all of this out right now, which is nice. Uh, although I would love to have these little branches as support for the platform. Uh, I've got one right below this, this dirt, so it shouldn't be too bad. 
And I can always add more if I want to. All right, so this is kind of what I was thinking of, at least right at first, right? I've moved everything up. You can see there's an ocelot that's uh, patrolling the area downstairs in hopes that those, <laughs> those pillagers don't come back. But you see this right here? I'm not a big fan of this. <laughs> uh, yeah, it's way too slow to get up and go, go back down. So I'm thinking maybe have a staircase that goes up, maybe like wraps around the tree. I think that'd be pretty neat. So I'm going to get started on that right now. So yeah, something like this with slabs. I kind of like the idea of doing slabs better than doing stairs, just so it's more of like a gradual thing. Uh, but we just wrap it around all the way down to the bottom. I think that'll look really cool. I'm going to get started on this, keep working on it, and uh, I'll bring you in right when I'm done. Okay, so I made some changes as I was making this stairwell. I'll show you the bottom of this once we get to it, uh, which you may have seen it a little bit in the other one. So I didn't like how it was just fences around. I mean, I like the open air concept and everything, but I thought we could make it a little bit better, especially because I had to move my bed and before there were fences here and I could barely get to it. It was really annoying. Uh, so this will give us a little bit more room. What I want to do is extend this platform right here out a couple and then have the fences go around that. Uh, there won't be a roof above it, but I think that'll be fine. Or maybe I can extend the leaves. I don't know. I haven't decided yet. Uh, but I do like this idea of making this area just a little bit bigger and have like an outside version and an inside version and it's closed off a little bit more. And then if we go all the way down here, this is what the staircase looks like going down the tree. I really like it a lot. It doesn't take me that long to get up. Plus I added some lanterns to light everything up uh, because, you know, creepers and stuff as you saw <laughs> but I did this kind of thing I don't know if I'm gonna keep it I didn't like how this was just kind of like one of each block I didn't think it looked very good um, and additionally in case we want to build anything over here I wanted to be able to get up from multiple sides and have it kind of keep wrapping around the tree let me know what you think about that I'm not 100% tied to it yet uh, I even tried like pushing it out this way just so we could get kind of all angles be able to hit the staircase, but I didn't like how that looked either. So I've gotten really far, but that leaf roof, ugh. So I'm just gathering some leaves from some nearby jungle trees, so hopefully we can clear that up a little bit. Okay. Yeah, you see this block lag? I've been getting that lately. It's really weird, but it goes away. Uh, so I've done a lot of leaf work, <laughs> and I think we're we're pretty close here. Here, let me see. Let's go into the free cam mode. And, oh yeah, that looks so much better than it did before. So much better. A lot more detail. I like that. I like that a lot. All right, so I died a couple of times, <laughs> and I'll show you where I didn't get any of it on camera. I was able to recover all my stuff, which is awesome, but let me show you what I was up to. So I wanted to light up this area a little bit more, put some more lanterns around, just because I, I think it looks better. Uh, so I needed some more iron. So I went all the way down to the bottom, and I imagined that maybe this staircase would be continued at the bottom to go down to like a little bit of a mine. Uh, again, I just needed a couple pieces of iron, but then you see I got here and fell straight down Actually, I was mining a piece of iron when I fell down, which is funny But all of this was filled with mobs and this is literally like my tree is like these four blocks right here <laughs> So so this was literally right under The tree for our little base, which is awesome. I got it all lit up now uh, But this is so cool. I can see oh man if we can somehow like incorporate this into the base area that would be so awesome i know we've got that other like exposed cave not too far away and look there's even dripstone that can be useful for sure but yeah i love this area i did get some iron so let's uh let's do something about those lanterns all right that should be enough for now perfect there's eight that's exactly what i need Man, this is so cool. I love how this looks when it's raining and it's dark out with the lanterns. Oh man, I can just see in my head so many cool things we could do with this area. 
All right, so now that we had a little bit of a sleep and the rain should hopefully clear up. Yeah, it's clearing up. Awesome. Okay, so uh, we've got a lot more to do. A lot more to do in this world, and we're going to have some mobs down there, but that's okay. We'll deal with it. You know, I've got iron now. Let's actually protect ourselves. <laughs> that sounds like a really good idea. Let's uh, be able to deal with some of these mobs downstairs. Uh, oh, and I've even got more. Get. 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 Yeah, that's right. Oh, you thought you could hide? Get. 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 Okay, so now that we're down here, I do want to do a little bit more on this level. Um, so the majority of the base is going to be like treehouse, kind of going from tree to tree. I think the next thing will be right here. I'm not really sure what I'm going to put there, but <laughs> I'm very open to ideas if you want to suggest something. But down here, I want to do some pathing, uh, which might be a little bit difficult, but we'll get to it when we get to it. But I also want to start with a little bit of crops. I know I've got a ton of wheat uh, and a ton of bread as well. But I'm going to need, if, I, if I'm going to get, you know, cows and sheep and stuff like that, I'm going to want to uh, get some more, some more wheat going. So I've just got to find a location. I think right here is probably fine. Maybe I'll take down this tree and then I'll get a little bit of a crop farm going. There, I think this area will work really, really well. Let me put these uh, these slabs down because that's where I want my water to go. I think this should have full coverage of this area. If not, you know, I can always put more. And there, goodness, it's already nighttime. I feel like I haven't even done anything. Okay, let me get some sleep real quick before the mobs come and then I'll start planting. All right, so let's get uh, a hoe out. I know I made one, <laughs> just like that. And then I'll just kind of Start going around this area. Can I not? Oh, I can't. Uh, that's going to be annoying. Okay, so I've got to replace all of that with uh, with dirt in order to till it for the crops. That's fine. That's fine. I'll go through after I get all these, and I'll, I'll make sure I hit all of those. What are those called again? I can't even remember what they're called. It's not mycelium. That's what the mushroom biome. I cannot remember what those are called to save my life. And there, pods all. That's what it was. I, I knew it would come to me eventually. Uh, so right now, I've got six wheat seeds. That's not a whole lot. So let's uh, let's get that going back here. Oh, I got the achievement. That's fantastic. Uh, I want to put torches on all of these places where I put the water. So that way, there's plenty of light down here for the crops to grow, even when it's nighttime. That's really important. I think I've got some potatoes upstairs, right? Let me go check. Yep, I've got potatoes. Awesome. Great. So I'll put the potatoes along this back wall just to keep some kind of separation for now. Uh, I think that'll work really well. How much do I have? Oh, that's perfect. That's perfect. So I've got this entire back area is potatoes and this is wheat. We'll add more as we get them, but uh, and let's let's face it. Eventually, <laughs> once it's not useful anymore, this will all just be decoration anyway. And now that we've got crops going, there's something else that I want to get to. Uh, and that's back over in this direction, kind of towards... Oh, look at all those guys. Oh, you're 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 having issues. You're having it... Uh, I couldn't save them. I couldn't save them, guys. There was nothing I could do. But you see these guys? I want one of these for sure, but I don't want this color. I thought I saw the the really cool pirate-looking one, the the red and blue one somewhere on our way over to the village. I just got to find it. Hey, there you are. I found you. I found you. Hey, how's it going? I don't have any. Oh, but I've got melon slices. There we go. That should be enough. Hopefully that's enough. Goodness gracious. Seven, please, please. One, no. Two, no. Three, no. Four, no. Oh. Well, that's not good. Oh, there's another melon. All right, where'd you go? 18 has to be enough. Come on. Come on, please. Yes. There we go. Perfect. Okay, I need you to follow me. We've got somewhere else to go. All right, it should be... A yes, there he is. How's it going, Devil Stuffed? Hey, you, I need you to... Will you follow me if I've got this? Maybe? Dude, you're, you're upside down. He's just being weird. 
Just being weird. That's okay. I've got pets. I understand. Now, if I give you this... Oh. There? No? Oh, but he's following me. He's following me. Okay, so can I, can I get him in a boat? That's the next question. You are really slow. Can you pick up the pace just a little bit? Just a little bit. I don't, I don't require much. Look, you see how fast he is? He teleported from way over there. I just need you to do something like that. I'm really worried about hitting this guy, and he, <laughs> he may attack me. I don't know for sure, but will you get in the boat? Yes. You want to come over here. You want to come over. I'm right here. I'm standing with Bam. Why is this so difficult? Look, I've got bamboo. I've got a ton of bamboo. And it's all for you. Oh, you're in the boat. Oh, my goodness. Okay, so now I should be able. Let's see. Yes. Yes. He's, it's, that's not how you ride in. Whatever. Let's get home. All right. So now we've got two friends, two friends to bring home. Uh, don't ask me what I'm going to do with them. I have no idea. But we've got two friends. That's the important part. All right. So I need you, my friend, to stay there. Where's the bird? Is he on my... No? Nope. He's not... Uh, oh. Do I have to walk back so that he'll teleport? Okay, let me go get the parrot. Found him. <laughs> I don't think he was there the whole time, but let's get back. Alright, here we are. I hope you like the place. I worked really hard on it. Uh, so now I just gotta get you off my shoulder so you can hang out up here. Okay, good. Land? Ah, there you go. Perfect. All right, double stuff. So now the million dollar question. You're really cozy in that boat, aren't you? <laughs> he takes up the entirety of the boat. That's funny that he fits so perfectly. Now, what do we do with you? Okay. So let's see. I could set up like an enclosure over here, but I feel like that's too cramped over here. Um, I was looking earlier. I considered doing my crop farm down here. And this might actually, like, if I clear out, I don't want to clear out much of the bamboo, but if I were to, you know, enclose off this area right here, this might be really good. This could be double stuff some. <laughs> you get it, by the way? Double stuff? I never said I was a comedian. But first, you see, uh, this is all the stone that I have to my name. Three pieces of cobblestone and 12 diorite. So I'm going to need more than that. Down to the mine we go. I still can't believe we have an entrance to a lush cave right here. That's actually awesome. That's the end. I've got... I thought I heard a spider. Maybe it was just that dripping water. But I've got andesite and stone right here. So that'll work really well. Anything else that I want to use? I don't really want to use uh, granite or anything like that. Man, I want to get some of that dripstone. Like, I don't need it now. But I will need it eventually. And yeah, that's a abandoned mine shaft right there. That's probably worth exploring. But before I get too distracted, as I'm like to do, let's get what we came here for. I'm going to need a ton of this. And I, oh, that's, that's great. That's fantastic. Thank you for that. Oh, and there goes my torches. Goodness gracious. Okay. Let's try this again. All right. So I've got a little over two stacks of cobblestone and a little over one stack of andesite. Hopefully that'll be enough for just this enclosure. If not, I'll have to come back down and get more, but that'll be fine. Let's get started. Okay. So I cleared an area over here. Uh, got rid of a lot of the vines because they were just really annoying as I was trying to work. I cleared out a lot of the bamboo. I was going to leave it, but I figured I'll just plant it where I want it to be when I'm done. Uh, so the reason I left this tree here is because I hate these kind of trees and it was either this or burn it down and I didn't want to burn anything down in our jungle here so it's staying it's staying uh, so I was kind of forced to think okay so I don't want to take up this whole area because one thing that I definitely want to do if you remember over in that direction over there through the trees but you can't see it at all is that really big cave entrance to so the lush cave over there so I would like to have some sort of way to get over there. And I'm thinking a path that goes around this way should be good. Or maybe over here. So maybe I just keep the enclosure to around this tree. Kind of centered around the tree. Um, that could work. But another thing I wanted to do was have some sort of water feature in here for them. Uh, so we got to figure that out as well. So I'll tell you what I'm going to do. I'm just going to start placing some blocks. And 
Cross my fingers and hope for the best. I don't know if I've told you. I, don't, I may have mentioned it at the beginning. There's no planning going into any of this. <laughs> uh, that's a big thing that I want to do in this series is I want to kind of just play the game and not, you know, do a bunch of planning and creative or doing anything like that. I'm just kind of going with the flow and however it turns out, it turns out. So something like this. Actually, I think this will work really nicely. It still gives plenty of room for pathing if we want to. It's big enough, I think. I took it back a little bit further than I originally intended, but I think this gives us plenty of space to put some bamboo in there, put a little water feature, maybe right here. I think this would be a good spot because you don't want bamboo here because then you won't be able to see the panda. So maybe a water feature right here and then bamboo all around. I think this will look really, really good. So let me finish up these walls. And as soon as I finish up the walls, we'll start working on the inside. Uh, maybe I'll bring you in after that. There. I really like how this looks, actually. I was very intentional with a lot of the stuff. I made a little hill around the tree, uh, basically just to give it some more elevation change so he can climb the hill if he wants, and it'll be easier to see him. And then I added this uh, sugar cane, uh, more bamboo, mainly around the back, just to make sure that we could still uh, see him as he's walking around. Let's see. I did a lot of hidden lighting you know, under leaves, because that's really all I have available to me right now is torches and leaves. Uh, but now comes uh, the difficult part, because this guy's slow. And, um, oh, what's the, uh, is it F3B? Yes, perfect. Okay, I want to be able to hit this thing. Where's my, there we go. I want to be able to hit the boat without hitting him. That's the goal. Oh, got it. Oh, nice. That was easy. Follow me, please. Please, right up here. Right up here. You know you want to come up here. You know, here, we can turn this off. There. No, hey, dude, come on. Come on. Come on. Apparently, you can right-click on him with some bamboo, and that, like, I don't know, makes him wake up or something? I'm not really sure how that works. All right. This might take a while. Ugh. That's not what I wanted. I need you to follow me. Come on. <laughs> yeah, I don't... Okay, you had your snack. Now please... Oh my goodness. Am I going to have to like... Dig a trench to put a boat? I'm going to have to dig a trench to put a boat. Okay. Hey, what's up, Double Stuff? I think he really likes this new house. This is really cool. So he likes to hang out right over here by the water. Maybe do some somersaults and stuff. It's it's actually a lot of fun to watch him. Oh, there you go. There you go, buddy. But we don't have a name for the parrot yet. So if you can think of any names for the parrot, that would be very helpful. What I'm doing right here is I am turning all this dirt into mud. Because I want to use packed mud for pathing here. And I think that's the last thing we're going to do today is work on the pathing. But I'm just going to keep working on these. And then I'll... Do the whole thing where I mix it with the wheat and then let's get some paths going and here it is we got so much done in this episode for an episode one I am loving this area right here we've got the pathing in a little bit of terraforming just a little bit got the crops going got double stuffed in his house man this is awesome but that's all the time I have for this episode thank you so much for watching and I'll see you in the next one